So this is just going to be a quick discussion, little tutorial, all related to community building and spending your time on Instagram in a more purposeful manner. So I realize that's a bit of a clickbait kind of heading, but I really don't spend my time mindlessly scrolling on Instagram. I look at it like I can't really afford to spend my time like that. And when I'm not saying this like, oh, I have better things to do. I'm saying because I'm all about community building and I want to support people who support me on Instagram, I want to use my time wisely and make sure I'm supporting the people I want to support versus just mindlessly scrolling and liking things or not liking things. Unless it's cat videos, obviously. Obviously, I scroll on the cat videos. Okay, so see, I'm following 3,000 people. So I don't like to just rely on the feed that Instagram thinks I want to see for entertainment. It's, it's just not helpful for me. I would rather, I following a lot of people, a lot of my genuine friends on in, are on Instagram and people in my, my, you know, fitness industry, wellness industry circles, people who I want to make sure I'm going to their accounts and liking and commenting and showing them that, of course, I still remember who they are and, okay, so... One way that helps me use my time more purposefully when I'm not posting or answering messages from people, I'll go to an uh, a post like this. Okay, so here's my birthday post. So this has an unusual amount of activity for me. It has a lot of likes and comments because it was my birthday. Um, that number there, the 120 comments, is obviously a bit deceiving because I answered everybody back. So you can pretty much cut that in half and that's how many people commented on my post. So let's just take a look. This is, some, this is something I'll do. I'll go to a post that has a lot of comments and see these are the people that I want to go to their account and say hey and comment and like their stuff. So like let's, this is... Diana, let's like some of her posts, give her some support, maybe comment on one. She's got a little funny thing. One minute, you're really young and cool, and the next, you're getting excited about a new vacuum. There's no in-between. I'm going to pin it because when you pin people's posts, it's kind of like a little red flag to um, Instagram, like it kind of highlights that person to Instagram, shows shows them that people are liking their stuff and saving it and that it's relevant. So just a little favor I like to do for my friends is I'll pin their posts and let's comment. So my uh, boyfriend Jason bought a Dyson and a robot vac. What's funny is um, we've got this robot vacuum and it's supposed to kind of like do your vacuuming for you, but I find we end up staring at it a lot of the time. <laughs> so it's like we might as well just be vacuuming because we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything more useful with our time. Okay, my I have bad eyesight, so I don't even, I can't tell if there's any typos. But okay, so I liked her, some of her posts, and gave her a pin, commented. Let's go back to mine. So these are, you know, people I want to say, hey, hey, Dan, let's like some of your stuff. Throw some support. And so, okay, hey, Amy. Throw her a little pin, like.
And I love Amy to death. Okay, so I don't want to bore you with some of these, but it's a nice post. Of course, I want to throw her some love. So, okay. This is one of my tips for people is instead of spending all of your time creeping on other people's accounts and looking at your peers and seeing how they how they build their communities, the types of content they post, the types of photos they use, instead of obsessing about what your industry peers are doing to build their communities, I say start obsessing over the people who show you love, right? So here's a fitness post of mine and I'm just going to assume that some of the people throwing down some comments are going to be interested in fitness. So I want to throw them love. They're in my fitness community. They had an awesome event. And then tell them when I'll see them at their next one. Okay. So this is how I spend my time. If I if I'm I've dedicated some time to look at other people's posts and read them. I'm doing this pretty quickly, you know, so like that last event post, I didn't actually read the caption, but I just wanted to show them some love and give you guys an example. Um, or maybe I'll go through my DMs and anybody who sent me some positive messages, I'll go and, um, you know, visit their accounts, throw them some love. Maybe people who've recently Showing me some love. Give them some hollers. So this is how I scroll. If it's not cat videos, I'm going through and helping out my buds. Fit and Flirty Closet, local clothing company. Throwing them some pins and some likes. And that's what I do.